North America youth. It accounts for one out of every five internet visits worldwide. It has over 845 million users, and it produces 2.7 billion likes every day. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Facebook. Now, Facebook is something we've all become very accustomed to. It was created by Mark Zuckerberg. It was through this creation, the fact that he became the world's youngest billionaire, the fact that he was named Time Magazine's 2010 Person of the Year, and the fact that he changed our everyday lives, that he became a true visionary. Which leads me to my first point. I'm going to explain to you how creating Facebook made Mark, uh, Mark Zuckerberg a visionary. Author Jose Vargas wrote in The New Yorker in September 2010, Mark Zuckerberg founded Facebook in his Harvard dorm room as a sophomore about six years ago. Now today, Facebook is about eight years old, but it still continues to unite hundreds of millions of people every day. <clears throat> I can tell you from my personal experience using Facebook that, in retrospect, the world was a lot more closed off before Facebook began. The birth of Facebook gave a new way to connect to family and relatives that before was impossible. Facebook's global communication proves that Zuckerberg was a true visionary for creating Facebook. Which leads me to my second point. I'm going to explain to you how becoming person of the year in Time Magazine's 2010 article also made Mark Zuckerberg a visionary. A staff posted by Lev Grossman in, in Time Magazine in December of 2010 said, in less than seven years, Zuckerberg wired a twelfth of humanity, creating a social network almost twice as large as the United States. Now this is something that the world took notice to. <clears throat> this notice earned him the title of Time Magazine's 2010 Person of the Year. <clears throat> Since 1927, there's been an annual article from Time where a person is named the Person of the Year. And at the age of just 26, Mark Zuckerberg became one of those people. I've just shown you how becoming person of the year made Mark Zuckerberg a visionary, which leads me to my third point. I'll explain to you how becoming the youngest billionaire also makes him a visionary. Facebook received private grants from companies when it just started out, and at this point, everybody knew that one, that one day Facebook would become a major cash flow. Once Facebook moved out from behind the curtain of private funding into the limelight of public profit, CEO Mark Zuckerberg earned an enormous wealth. A statistic posted by Stephen Lang uh, in Newsweek 2010 said, today Zuckerberg's total estimated worth is 17.5 billion, making him the world's youngest billionaire at just age 28. I've just shown you how becoming the world's youngest billionaire is another way Mark Zuckerberg became a true visionary. Which leads me to my fourth point. I'm gonna explain to you how Mark Zuckerberg changed our everyday lives. I interviewed my roommate Jake, who's also uh, an avid Facebook user, you could say, um, and I quoted from him, Facebook brought the entire world together via the internet. It's something that I use daily. Now, Zuckerberg united over 800 million people worldwide. He changed how individuals exchange information through the social networking and how they interact with relatives and friends. Now, I've just given you four significant reasons why Mark Zuckerberg is a true visionary, which brings me to my conclusion. Whether you're at home, you're sitting in class, or you're anywhere in the world on your, on your phone, you more than likely have access to Facebook. And the odds are that if you have a Facebook account, you've either changed your status, uploaded a video, photo, or liked a comment at some point in your day. My point is that Mark Zuckerberg had, announced, uh, had impacted our, a change in our everyday lives. And by creating Facebook, becoming the world's youngest billionaire, and becoming Time Magazine's 2010 person of the year, and changing our everyday lives, he became a true visionary. <laughs>